control to all stations. Stand by for traffic from 500. 500 to all stations. Meet me at the CP. station number six. Come in, come in, a little closer. I'm Captain Pat, your tour guide, and I'm also responsible for this station. Now, this is where our open house tour begins. Now, the first stop on our tour will be the living quarters where the firefighters spend most of their time between emergency calls. Okay. Now, follow me, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have along the way. Now, the men and women of Station 6 spend 24 hours a day while they're here on shift. Come right along. You too. I'm having a great time. Me too. But don't tell me, Jessica. Tell him. Okay, I will. Thank you, Friendly Freddy. I'm having a great time. You're welcome. Who said that? I did. It's me, Freddy, the friendly fire engine number 55. At your service. You can talk, you can talk. Jay, look, look, he can talk. I can't believe it. He can talk. Holy moly! Who are you? And what are you doing here? I just told you, I'm Freddy, the friendly fire engine, and the firehouse is my home. I live here. You live here? I didn't know anyone actually lived in a firehouse. Not just anyone does, Jessica. A firehouse is home to special people with special equipment and a special job to do. People like me. Wanna see? Boy, do we! Can we? Do fish swim? Do birds fly? And do firefighters put out fires? Come with me and see. We all live in a firehouse. We all live in a firehouse. We slide down the pole when the fire to dust. We live in a firehouse. We're ready, we're ready, we're always there to fight the fire. Most days, anyone who wants to come can come. We live in a firehouse. We live in a firehouse. We slide down the pole when the fire to dust. We live in a firehouse. We're ready, we're ready, we're always there to fight the fire. Most days, anyone who wants to come can come. We live in a firehouse. We're ready, we're ready, we're always there to fight the fire. Most days, anyone who wants to come can come. We live in a firehouse. We're ready, we're ready, we're always there to fight the fire. Most days, anyone who wants to come can come. We live in a firehouse. We're ready, we're ready, we're always there to fight the fire. Most days, anyone who wants to come can come. We live in a firehouse. We're ready, we're ready, we're always there to fight the fire. Most days, anyone who wants to come can come. We live in a firehouse. We're ready, we're ready, we When firefighters are on duty, they live and work together in the firehouse as a team. We can cook and we can clean. Our kitchen is a clean machine, the cleanest house you've ever done seen. We live in a firehouse. Around the house there's chores to do. We make our beds and shine our shoes, and everything looks nice and new. We live in a firehouse. We live together merrily in fighting, fighting harmony. We welcome kids who come to see us and the firehouse for free. The best way to see fire trucks up close is at your local fire station during an open house. We all live in a firehouse. We all live in a firehouse. We slide down the pole when the stars are south. We live in a firehouse. We all live in a firehouse. We all live in a firehouse. We slide down the pole when the stars are south. We. Living at a firehouse could be so much fun. I thought Grandma's house is fun, but this is even better. I wish I lived here. 
Well, Jessica, if you grow up to be a firefighter, maybe you will. I'll be right back. I've got to find my hat. Have you seen my hat? Oh, well, here's my hat. Excuse me, Captain Pat, but what would you say if we told you that Freddy, the friendly fire engine, just talked to us? I'd say you're two very special children. Freddy only talks to special people. Right, Freddy? That's right. Oh, gotta go. I got a tour to give. Bye, Captain Pat. Freddy, do you really think we're special? You bet I do. As special as the firefighters you're about to meet. The men and women of Station 6. We are the firefighters. Fighting fire's the best. We are the firefighters. It says so on our best. A fire that burns doesn't stand a chance with us. That's because we're firefighting's best safety. We have our special clothing that protects us because it's tough. Our helmets and our jackets and our boots are mighty rough. Ooh. We have a mask to help us breathe and goggles that can help us see. We wear fireproof clothes to beat the heat. We are the firefighters, fighting fires the best. We are the firefighters, it says so on our vest. A fire that burns doesn't stand a chance with us. That's because we're firefighting's best. High in a fire, there's danger lurking everywhere. Protect yourself and always be aware. Firefighters encounter smoke, heat, and falling debris. They do it safe. They protect themselves and they're always aware. We are the firefighters, fighting fires the best. We are the firefighters, it says so on our best. A fire that burns doesn't stand a chance with us. That's because we're firefighting's best. The safest kind of fire is the one that never starts. Play with matches or other burning parts. And always remember what us firefighters learn. You never play with fire because you're gonna get burned. We are the firefighters, fighting fires the best. We are the firefighters, it says so on our best. A fire that burns doesn't stand a chance with us. That's because we're firefighting's best. There's different ways to fight a fire, just to name a few. The forest firefighters have no water they can use. So they dig a trench or light a back fire to make it turn. Back it upon itself until it's out of fuel to burn. We are the firefighters, fighting fires the best. We are the firefighters, it says so on our best. A fire that burns doesn't stand a chance with us. That's because we're firefighting's best. We are the firefighters, fighting fires the best. different jobs to do, right, Freddy? Freddy, where are you? I'm over here. Wow, Freddy, what kind of fire truck is this? And what does it do? Oh, this is my friend, Peter. He's an engine truck. He's usually the first truck to reach a fire, and one of his many jobs is to make sure there's enough water to fight the fire. He can do that because he carries with him his own water and almost one mile of hoses so he can reach the closest fire hydrant to get even more water. But the most important piece of his equipment is a pump. The pump increases the water pressure so it comes out of the hoses in a strong, steady stream. Want to see him up close? Yes! Well, come on board. Check him out. What's that, Jay? Well, how do the firefighters know where a fire is? Yeah, Freddy, and how do they know how to get there? Clang, clang, clang. Great questions. 
When a fire emergency is reported, it goes to a dispatcher that chooses a fire station closest to the problem and sends the firefighters immediately on their way. Any more questions? Yeah! Can I turn the siren on? And can I honk the horn? Clang, clang, clang! Sure! Go for it! Let's check out the horns and the sirens! I just love all those sounds. It's music to my ears. I hear a fire truck coming down the street. I can hear oh so many things. The siren makes a the horn makes a and there's even a bell that the fire truck rings. There's many different sounds of the fire truck. It's the sounds of safety and heavy equipment coming down the street. They're the needed sounds in the whole wide world. They make <laughs> us dream. How do the firefighters find the fire? And how do they communicate with each other to fight it? The fire truck radio is big and loud. It's the most important sound of all. The firefighters need to stay in touch when the fire station has a call. The fire is loud for a good reason too. It says there's a truck coming through. So people and traffic will The fire truck has many more interesting sounds. All you have to do is listen. There's many other sounds of the fire truck, like the noise of the water that sprays, and the diesel that sings, and a bell that rings. And the kids that want to be firefighters someday. Woo! I hear a fire truck coming down the street. I can hear oh so many things. The siren makes a The horn makes a I wish my dad's car had one. Well, they are fun, but they're also very important. When you hear a siren, you know somebody's in trouble and help is on the way. That's why only emergency vehicles have sirens. And remember, when you hear sirens or see lights, always move to the right. Friendly Freddy, what other types of fire trucks are there? And what jobs do they do? Clang, clang, clang! There's all types of fire trucks for all types of jobs. There are big trucks, little trucks, red trucks, yellow trucks, ladder trucks, pump trucks. Great fire Those trucks. great fire trucks, we love them so much. It's fun when we have them around. Those great fire trucks, they have all the luck. They keep us all safe and sound. They roar, they rumble, they really rock and roll. Well, the old fire trucks are my favorite ones of all. They still fight fires here today. You don't need something new to fight fires like they do in the good old-fashioned way. They still hook up to the hydrant, and they spray the water all about. They don't need lots of bells and whistles, just to put the old fire on out. Those great fire trucks, we love them so much. It's funny when we have them around. Yeah. The hook and ladder is 
a special fire truck. It's the only one of its kind. It has a ladder on a track, a steering wheel in the back. Another driver can steer from behind. The ladder goes up from the back of the truck and it reaches on up to the sky. So you've got to have a hook and ladder fire truck to get to a building so high. Those great fire trucks, we love them so much. It's fun when we have them around. Those great fire trucks, they have all the luck to keep us all safe and sound. They roar, they rumble, they really rock and roll. Look at these huge fire trucks. These are airport fire trucks, and they can really rock and roll. They put out airport fires with a mixture of foam and chemicals. When there's an emergency, the call goes out, and the ambulance comes right away. The paramedics take good care of the patients with the help of the ambulance every day. The tanker can haul a lot of water on its back when there isn't any water around. And the water pumper truck, it can pump the water up to the hoses that can knock the fire down. Those great fire trucks, we love them so much. It's fun when we have them around. Those great fire trucks, they have all the luck to keep us all safe and sound. They roar, they rumble, they really rock and roll. Rock and roll. Those great fire trucks, we love them so much. It's fun when we have them around. Those great fire trucks, they have all the luck to keep us all safe and sound. Why, they're more than friends, Jessica. They're family. Freddie, what do you mean by family? Well, all those men, women, and equipment are all part of one big firefighting family. On the ground, in the air, and on the sea. We're there for each other to help those in need. In the air and on the sea? That's right. Come on, I'll show you. Follow me. Water with a big water cannon knocks out the fire in a flash. it on the fire everywhere. We're going riding on the most exciting big firefighting machine. It's so exciting because we're all going riding on the big firefighting machine. Firefighting machines we're are important. Rescuing people from dangerous places takes special equipment machine. and the coordination of many people. Firefighters need to have lots of training and special skills. Sometimes police and firefighters work together to help people in trouble. Rescuing people and putting out fires requires firefighters and firefighting machines. Together, machines and firefighters are mighty. Airports and airplanes also play it safe. They have a very special fire truck. It's very heavy duty and it's very special foam. Yes, it is a special fire truck. Yes, it is a special fire truck. We're going riding on the most exciting big firefighting machine. It's so exciting because we're all going riding on the big firefighting machine. There's a fire truck of big 
very special one indeed. It's known as the biggest one of all. It's got a big ladder that stores in the back and extends to a hundred feet tall. Helicopter. The helicopter is another firefighting tool. It helps firefighters on the line. It fills up the bucket and it flies above the fire and drops it on the target every time. We're going riding on the bus. Just seen all of the big firefighting machines. Now let's get a closer look at all the special firefighting equipment. You need firefighting gear to put the fire out to keep us all safe. That's never in doubt. Something every firefighter learns about. You gotta have firefighting gear. They have a ladder on the truck. They can move all around. It goes up, down, up. The firefighters climb it to get all around. The ladder is firefighting gear. You need firefighting gear to put the fire out. To keep us all safe, that's never in doubt. Something every firefighter learns about. You gotta have firefighting gear. The water hoses shoot the water on out. They go. They spray a lot of water until it puts the fire out. The water hose is firefighting gear. <laughs> this is the chainsaw the firefighters use. It goes err, 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 err. It saws through the fire, so that's good news. The chainsaw's firefighting gear. You need firefighting gear to put the fire out. To keep us all safe, that's never in doubt. Something every firefighter learns about. You gotta have a firefighting gear. Is the coupler on the fire truck? It goes clank, 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 clank. It hooks from the hydrant to the truck water tank. The coupler is firefighting gear. How about the firefighters on the fire truck? They say, Let's go, let's go. They make the gear work, it's the job they know. The firefighters are firefighting gear. You need firefighting gear to put the fire out. is part of the firefighting gear. It goes chop, 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 chop. It can chop through the building to help the fire stop. The ripper is firefighting gear. The horn is found on every fire truck. It goes honk, 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 honk. It's so loud we even put it in this song. The horn is firefighting gear. You need firefighting gear to put the fire out. It's me, Freddy, the friendly fire engine at your service. Isn't the life of a firefighter exciting? Boy, is it. I really like the helicopter. The firebird on the sea was the most exciting thing for me. Shh, listen. Uh-oh, people are coming. I've got to go. But before I do, answer me this. What is the most important part of firefighting? What? The most important part of firefighting is fire prevention. So never, ever, ever, ever play with matches. Okay? Okay! But until we meet again, remember, be aware, be safe, and clang, clang, clang! 
be happy. Before leaving, answer me this. What's the most important part about firefighting? The answer is fire prevention. So remember, be aware, be safe, and be happy. Freddie, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, you're right, Captain Pat. Real fire hats. Thanks, Freddie. Thank you.